Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to some more Kesson 2. I think this is the famous battle, but I can't remember what it's called now. The one we have to run away. <laughs> Chang Bang Po, I do know that. Yeah, that's good. I think it's this one. I had no idea. Liu Bei's army, aided by the resourcefulness of warlord Zhu Ge Liang, repels the forces led by Cao Ren. Handily as well, However, by the way. now that he is secure in his conquest of the northern provinces, it is all too clear that it will be only a matter of time before Cao Cao turns his greedy eyes to the south. So greedy. A cloud of dread spreads slowly toward the Jing province. We need to decide what our options are. Yes. What ideas have you come up with? Cao Cao's army is vastly superior to ours, but his generals think little of our strength. That's their greatest weakness. Let's take them by surprise and attack their headquarters first. Then we can go in and steal their food and provisions. Yeah, that sounds good. Isn't that a good idea? be an example of how the world has turned into a pit of depravity. A man-eating tiger lurks in the area, so let it confront the black dragon. <laughs> what we need is training, if you ask me. We'll beat them at their own game. That's how we'll become victorious. Let's take action. I'm open for any suggestions that you may have. I mean... Oh. Okay, let's have a look at our relative strength. I think that might be quite interesting. So, troop strength is pretty low technology. I mean, yeah, Cal 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 got the upper hand. He got the upper hand. I don't know if we go for supply or not. Supply might be interesting because... I can't remember which battle this is. I hope that if this is the one where we run away, then supplies might actually help. I reckon I'm going to go for it. Let's go for enemy supplies. I agree. Even though I would Let's like do to do it. training and that sort of thing, but yes, there'll hopefully be time to do that another time. No, there'll be lots of time to do that. I should say. The supplies attack was very successful. We took all of the provisions and then we left. Okay, cool. Supplies have increased by four. Kalko's Cal Cal army morale has dropped by five. You know, that's not nothing. I think it's out of a hundred anyway, so. In a concerted effort to conquer the world, Cao Cao begins his march out of Zhu Chang. Oh, no. Meanwhile, the Jing province has fallen into an abyss of misery and disorder as a direct result of the massive destruction they have suffered through. Overwhelmed by Cao Cao's army, Liu Bei is unable to press his attack. Instead, he heads for Jia Ko to recuperate and rebuild his ranks. Hearing the news of Cao Cao's imminent approach, Liu Bei's army collapses in defeat without so much as a fight. No matter how many battles we win, Cao Cao's army gets stronger! You'd think heaven was on his side! <laughs> Shut your mouth! The side of a cold-blooded tyrant. He's heartless. He's out for his own gain. Now even our loyal friend Zhao Yun has gone and deserted us. I'm not surprised at that. He favored the restoration. All that you want is Zhao Chen. It's all you dream about. I'm walking on a different path than you. Bad news! Mason Young and Zhuge Liang have gone and deserted us too! No, that can't be true! I heard they were seen heading toward enemy headquarters! Mason Young! Oh no! And Zhuge Liang as well. <laughs> hey, why don't you all take off and desert me too while you have the chance? I know that Cao Cao will be overjoyed when he hears the news. <laughs> I really like all the detail they put into Liu Bei's armor. Oh, wow! <laughs> Don't you remember wow. the oath we made? Hmm? Knocked him out. That day, in the grove of beech blossoms. That was the day you took us as brothers. Born apart on separate days. But when we die, may it be the same day. And at the exact moment. We were once outlaws that were scorned by everyone. That changed. That day I decided I'd do anything for Brother Liu Bei. <laughs> Brother! Even if the whole world forsakes you, 
I will never leave your side, not even for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Crying has to end. Now stop it. Or you'll make me start crying too. My brother! <laughs> uh. Quite sweet to be fair. All right. Begin the council. According to the information from our scouts, the enemy is located here. If we attack Kao Kao's army head on. We haven't got much of a chance. South of Chanbang Po is Sun Quan's territory. One way or another, we need to get there. I mean, it's a good battle from, like... Uh, if you can make it here, then we will have a very good chance of winning the battle. But if your unit like, is going to be tough. Flee, then we will all be defeated. I agree. Tell me what options there are. Listen to my strategy. We could flee, and then we would get to Sun Quan. the route that the enemy is most Sing likely Chuan. to take. I will keep this bridge open for you, brother. That will be your escape. Okay, so we've got the bridge. To serve you. I'll defend the shortest way through this valley, but I've heard reports that the enemy has a large cavalry, so time is of the essence. Liu Bei, if you run away, then stick with me, of course. Our minds and my ambush will totally stop the enemy. You must choose a strategy. So I think I've played, actually played through all of these scenarios. I tend to go for the mines because... I think having the mines is uh, useful because it gives you, um, you know, does a bit of damage to whoever is trying to chase you down. And we've got Zhang Liao, Jie Haoba. I mean, really, Zhang Fei should be the other side of the bridge. Make them come across the bridge so you don't get countered, which is probably what I'll do with him. I can't really remember, actually, you know. Uh, and then you can also move Guan Yu back a little bit as well. He's still going to get flanked, but... I mean, it just kind of is is what it is for this battle. And yeah, lots and lots of very strong um, generals here. I don't think there's anyone that isn't. Like Yu Jin, I suppose, but he tends to have some anyway. And then later on, Jun Yu goes into Cao Cao's force. But yeah, the rest of them are very much legitimate generals in their own right. So yeah, it's going to be going to be tough. I'm going to go with the mines because I think... That's the one I would go through. There's some stuff in the battle that changes things slightly, but I think um, being able to use mines or pits and stuff decision. always is a, uh, is a good choice. I mean, just really show how threadbare our units are, <laughs> and the fact that we've uh, we've got Lily giving us a battle strategy, which is normally reserved for um like more senior ones, shall we say? But it's nice that Lily's army is at least shrouded. But you can see she starts with a much lower troop count anyway. And then also morale. Um, so I think I'm gonna move Guan Yu there, and then I'm gonna have to turn him around as well. And I think I'm gonna move Zhang Fei over the river. Because obviously I know best. <laughs> but we'll leave Liu Bei to carry on his trajectory, and we'll let the stuff on this side happen as it would be. And then as soon as Guan Yu's turned around, I'll move him back so that he's facing the right way and doesn't get flanked. Because that's the only real risk in all this, is having enough time to make sure that your armies don't, le like, legitimately don't get flanked. Um, because they're going to come, come at us quite severely. Um, and that is the whole point of this battle. And this one in 
in the Three Kingdoms world is a bit different, but it follows the same the same basic principle is that Neo Bay has to run away um, under the insurmountable might of of Cow Cow's forces. Um, I think it's because Liu Bao dies. Honestly, I can't properly remember, but that's the reason that Jing Province becomes like basically uh, ungovernable for a bit. And and Cao Cao being too strong by this point after he's taken out Yuan Shao, we Yuan Shao. So yeah, but. You know, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll win some jewels and things, and um, we'll be able to upgrade our our generals. Uh, that's what sort of kind of what we're going for. It takes Liu Bei quite a while to get to the exit point. I mean, it might not seem like it's that bad, right? All the other units like Guan Yu and Zhang Fei and stuff have just got to hold them off. It can't be that bad. <laughs> but things happen in the battle, clearly, and this is the one. If you Oh, I will not no. lose you. Don't even think I think it. we got from behind. I won't go easy on you just because you're small. Mm. Okay, that might be my bad. No, not might be. That is my bad. Yeah, because we didn't get across the bridge. Ah. In time. Yeah, attacked us from behind. So that means I need to now do something, I guess. Kakash troops got so many men as well. Impertinent fool! I'm gonna trust the game on that side that it's not gonna let Liu Bei get caught by Jia Haldun straight away. Alright, I think oh, there's no point using jewel because there's no one to jewel. Can I get a volley off? No, I'm gonna have to wait. I'll tell you what. Because our troops have come back now, I think probably because we're on normal difficulty. Now then, let's go. Impertinent fool! And we get a surprise attack. That's always good. I don't think Lily should have rush, I believe. But it has left the door open for someone else to sneak in around the other side. But hopefully Liu Bei will get away. Oh no, Lily only has... Okay, fine. So she might end up losing that particular battle. Because... Not as strong as Jia Haldun. Actually, quite funny that Jugalion tries to assassinate um, Cow Cow. Like, very, very cool. And a really cool animation. And, like, what were we going to call them? FMVs? FMVs? Uh, Cutscenes. Um, yeah, like. Fire! Just really brings, like, that next level of drama, I suppose. I mean, you don't know that he. I suppose I have spoiled it now, I guess saying tries to assassinate but yeah like those or oh, Jugalion never abandoned Liu Bei I suppose is that is that point to make for this one actually the opposite trying to find an opening for for Cow Cow right leave him get him out in the open and and attack him that way okay that didn't do as good as I was hoping but we might well win that battle. We'll see. Guan Yu's about to enter. I'm going to just bring him forward because I don't want to get... I don't want to hopefully give them the opportunity. Oh, I don't remember if she will actually duel with me at this point. We'll give it a go. No I can't remember if she gets that ability later, if she has it now. Let's find out. Oh, she does have it now. Okay. You. You can even make the first move. 
I mean, obviously, we always want to win our duels, but <laughs> this one is right, quite important as well. Let's have a look. Did he twist it? He does twist it. Okay. I think that's good. Yes. So when you've seen the jewels enough, you kind of work out what the animations mean. Uh, how could I lose that? Very good. Happy with that one. Weekly. Now even Black Dragon is crying. <laughs> The troop numbers, though, are quite, ab absolutely quite uh, staunch. And then we got that little, if you heard the little chime at the end, that's good. That means we've gained, I think that means we've gained some experience from what I remember. Oh, okay. Um, Zhang Fei's getting... Getting besieged by enemy abilities. Which they will do, of course. Unfortunately, I didn't really yield us too much, but that's fine. They're all getting stuck now because we're holding this choke point. I'm just going to go and smack around some troops for a little bit because why not? Got the opportunity to do so. Lube still has a long way to go. Oh, no, I did not mean to do that. I don't even know if I'm facing the right way or not. I don't think I am. Where have you been? That's Kalkaus. Did you face him by yourself, Zugilian? The Lord Sorceress prevented me from bringing you his head. Now that you've seen it, do you believe I am loyal to you? Huh. You are incredible. Well, I must get back to my troops. Please excuse me. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I should get the answer. Funny guy. But very, very cool. Can't argue. It is cool. Uh, so yeah, as you're getting on, I'll enter the battle now. I'm trying to remember what I need to do with him. It's been a while. Uh, I could... I could just move him to protect the bridge. I mean, that's not a bad idea, seeing as I imagine Lili's going to lose against Jia Haldun at some point, even though we've got a massive morale advantage. Although we have a massive morale advantage here with Guan Yu. Oh, Zhang Fei's getting smacked. Gosh. See, that's the only problem with this battle, battle is the lack of, of just troop numbers. It just makes it so difficult. Uh, but it looks like Lulu is getting her volley again. So we'll we'll take a chunk. Take a chunk out of them. Okay. No. No dueling today. But it helps even things out a little bit more. I know obviously we'll, we'll start to be in a quite a big deficit because we won't have the... Send them into battle. Hopefully, I can get back my ability earlier. There we go. <laughs> I was thinking that might be a bit silly to have done it if I if I don't get it. If it doesn't restore in time. Fire! Um, but yeah, we'll get the archers in there. It's just a way of hopefully trying to reinforce our foot troops. I know they'll also take damage as well, so it's kind of um kind of a short term thing. But I'm hoping it might give. Jang Fei's troops a little bit more time in battle, I mean. Okay, that wasn't the worst. That was alright, actually. We're still losing 2-1, to one, though. So, yeah, Jang Fei's going to struggle to win that. Guan Yu should win his. Lili is not going to win hers. Zhu Haodun 
has the advantage there. I'm also not in a rush to win with Guan Yu either, because then that just means the next one's going to be in line, ready and waiting. I think we've also got a troop type disadvantage here as well. I don't know what I'm saying. I think we, we do absolutely do have a troop type disadvantage. But you know, we'll we'll see what we'll see what we can. That's why I smack your own troops. We'll see see what we can do. Um, this battle is primarily about holding on. Uh, although you can like do some serious damage to Cow Cow if you play it right, uh, and if you get a bit lucky with some of the abilities and, and things as well. But. I won't be, will not be us today. I will say that much. But that's okay. Oh man, Shang Fei. Taking a royal, a royal beating. I don't know if I should have sent Juge Leon up to reinforce Lili. I'm going to run out of time. That's the only problem. And then Guan Yu's going to have to fight Cao Ren. Hmm. You know what? Let's just go for it. Why not? I'll fight as Zhang Fei for a bit. <laughs> And they have no, little impact, but that's fine. You can disrupt enemy archers and stuff, like, fairly easily, I would say. I get them to enter the battle. There you go. Now they're entering the battle. Which is very helpful. I know this is in the opening video, but this is a very cool cutscene as well. Ha, what's the matter with you all? Do you need the volunteers that Zhuge Liang recruited because you are incapable of doing it yourself? I can't leave you alone for a minute! <laughs> okay, so... She is in play now as well. Which means I can bring her around here for when, unfortunately, Zhuge, uh, not Zhuge, uh, Zhang Fei loses. He's just going to run out of troops. The morale is not such a bad, not such a, a bad thing. It is the... Uh, we, can, we can run Zhang Fei away, to be fair. Maybe we should do that, actually. Because uh, Eugene is going to have to cross the bridge anyway, which does buy us a little bit of time. And yeah, then I can pull Lily back, and I don't know what she's going to have to, what she's going to be able to do. To be fair, because Guan Yu is also running out of troops as well. I guess Guan Yu needs to hurt, needs to get another jewel, and then also win. <laughs> I've got no chance of turning him round, so we're just going to be subject to Cal Ren now. Um, but, no, okay. Neither Guan Ping or Zhao Kang have learned any abilities. I don't think Guan Ping's too far off learning his, though. Ah, nice. And Guan Yu's got charge for winning, so that's good. Gives us something to go off of, anyway. So there. So if you have units with archers in, they can do damage to you, basically. Now I could use a charge straight away, which you might think might be the best idea, and it's not a bad idea. 
but you kind of want the enemy lines to be drawn first, if you can. Show me what you're made of. Show me. Figure may as well use my ability first thing because no better time than when the enemy's got loads of troops. I need to have done a serious damage. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Well, somehow I have just turned. I've just turned that into Guan <laughs> Yu's favor massively. Oh, okay. Very good. Uh, I'll probably withdraw Lily now. And I guess I'll have her pull all the way back. Gosh, that's got to be one of the best, maybe ever, actually. Oh, Liu Bei's located Himiko, which is interesting. I may have done a bit of a bad there by moving out. Oh, no. I think they're probably still stuck, actually. And it's quite nice because Yuge Leon can come in now and do some serious damage, too. Um, Tijia Haldun. Okay, they're probably going to use Firestorm, I would suggest. And that's probably what I'm going to need to do. Or we have got Fireball, which will also do some serious damage. Let's have a look, because Firestorm has a little bit of a bit at the end as well. Okay, yeah. All right, let's go for Firestorm instead. I reckon we can do some serious damage here. Mm, okay. It's not as good as I was hoping for. But probably good enough. Do I want to use lightning? Mm. That's the million pound question, isn't it? Oh, okay. Zhao, uh, Cal Ren might be in in business for a bit longer. Oh, do I go for that? They're in disarray. Oh, oh, whatever. Let's do it. It's not quite as effective as I would like. And I want to try and save that fireball, particularly if we have to have another fight after this, which is very probable. Yeah, that was good. They're in the danger zone now. We should be able to win that one. Not handily, but should be able to win it. And then, what do I want Lily to do? Got Cow Cow there, but it's just got too, the problem is it's just got too many troops. Um, Liu Bei is in battle with Himiko. Himiko's got loads of troops as well. Probably going to want Zhang Fei to go there, and then I'll get Zhang Fei to pincer Himiko, I think. And then it's just a matter of one you can chill out on Cal Ren for a bit. And I'll just have Lili defend the bridge in case the unthinkable happens and they manage to get to the bridge. Um, so Lubei's luckily got an Iron Wall ability. He has also got... A rally as well. We may well need Jiang Fei, actually, to come and help us. I guess the game sort of thinks that you're gonna use Mei Sanyo for as backup. Oh, I got him. I'm off. 
thing is you don't know what like what part of the unit they're going for. The next one I'm not going to be able to stop because the iron wall is one and done. I mean, by the looks of it, that was a really, really poor lightning. And would have hit hardly any of my men. But there you go. Never mind. These things you just... You just don't know. Till you know. And you want to try and avoid your troops bumping into each other if you can. Let's see how far behind the enemy troops are from Zhang Fei. Uh, I can't see him in the distance. Doesn't mean they're not coming, obviously, but... Having your troops bump into each other is really, really annoying when it happens. Okay, lovely. We have a, a target now. And that now means I can get Zhang Fei to help Liu Bei. Don't necessarily know how much help it's going to be, but... <laughs> but I guess, yeah, Zhang Fei's got Jewel we could use to get a slight morale advantage, and then we've also got uh, Lulu who will be able to use Volley as well. So it won't be for nothing. We've won here. Well done, Guan Yu. <laughs> I will avenge myself from this battle. And then now Guan Yu's going to be attacked by uh, someone else, which is great. <laughs> okay, lovely. I'll have to wait until the battle lines get drawn, but then I'm going to use the meteor shower. So you can go after the archers with meteor shower, but I've generally found that that does not necessarily yield the best results. In fact, you're much better off forcing the forcing the bow units into fight. There we go. And I'll leave that for now and I'll come back. Because I think Guan Yu's going to need me for a second. Oh gosh. Can you get in there? Uh, getting trampled here. I mean, I guess the other thing I could do is I could have Lili come in behind Guan Yu. just not really going to do anything, that's the only problem. Hmm, we're kind of all over the shop here, aren't we? Looks like I could go for this. Let's go for this. Oh, iron wall. Damn it. Never mind. I gave over good. Oh, that might have been okay. Would have taken out at least a few hundred, but okay, kind of everything your own way. Let's go for Jugil. And hopefully Guan Yu will get a, a jewel back or a charge or something. That would be quite good. I'm we'll to see, obviously. And I might get another chance to give one of the other Cow Cow's units a, a fireball. We'll see. I'm hopeful. But you never know. Right, take that. Take the punch to the... No, that was my own guy. <laughs> punch to the dome. Oh, no. Well, hopefully that wasn't too powerful. And Zhang Fei looks like he is 
There we go. Yep. So I'll give that a few seconds and then we'll see if we can use Lulu's volley ability, which should be back, I believe. No, oh, it is. Yeah, okay. Not as many troops here because Himiko's army's been um, split now. Fire! So some troops over to Liu Bei's and then some troops over to fight Zhang Fei. So we'll see. The nice thing is even when I beat Himiko's army, I can then don't have to put Liu Bei in the retreat spot. Just give me that. No, oh, that didn't. That body didn't particularly go very well. Oh no. Okay, it's okay. We got a few. I'll take it for what it is. And they're in disarray as well, so that always helps. And May May Sanyol may not win that one. Guan Yu's definitely going to struggle now. But if I can get the win for Zhuge Leon and I can get a fire bullet on Zhang Liao, then we'll sort of have to take that as a victory. But, yeah. It's evened up quite a bit now that we've got our two extra units and beaten a few. I wouldn't expect Guan Yu to get, even to get this, to have gotten this far, to be honest. But, you know, you win the duel and you have a basically unit-breaking unit charge. And, yeah, that'll do it. But the troop numbers here is just going to make this untenable now. Sanyon is winning. That's good. Very good, actually. Ah, good. We beat Himiko. Oh, They're beaten. Victory is ours. Man, how stupid. <laughs> Not sure whose horse troops there are. Oh, cow cow slicing down the shoe soldiers. Die, you mongrel! I'll defeat you and save Yao Chan, cow cow! On guard! Oh. <laughs> Come back. I mean, they're opposite end of the maps, but for the purposes of the of that video, they managed to seek each other out. <laughs> uh, orders. What I want to do? I'll have you bay hold. Don't really know what to do with Zhang Fei now. If Mei San Yun's gonna win, to be expected, Guan Yu's obviously gonna lose. Zhuge Leon should win. We've just got no troops. That's the problem. We've just got no no men. And anyone that's got any men is Liu Bei, but you'd really be asking for trouble because there's it just it would be quite cool to beat Cao Cao. <laughs> Uh, I know it's possible, but it does take a bit of finagling because, as I say, you start with our troops, so... Mm, don't know. Not sure. I mean, we could... Oh, Zhang Fei's would learn ability as well. That's pretty good. Jun Yu's got arrows, apparently. Oh, you know what we could do? We could send Mei Sanyon around to try and get the um, uh, supply depot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I mean, we, I could try it because I've got nothing to lose. Liu Bei can get that, can get that bit whenever now. And um, Zhang Fei could hold off a unit for a little bit, not long, but a little bit. There's no one here on Earth who could ever defeat me. I triumph. Jia Hao Dun never loses. All right, let's get into map because I need to make sure that Zhuge Leon does not allow Jia Bar to slip past. I think we should be okay. And I'll let them form up and then I'll use Zhuge Leon's fireball. Guan Yu's got like no men left clinging on for dear life. Oh, he's not going to get a jewel either. That's a shame. That might have given us a slight advantage. Oh, Cow Cow's running away. Coward. Uh, <laughs> don't blame him, though. I think that's the other thing. So Zhang Fei's got Raid now, which is, yeah, that's decent. I can't remember what Lulu gets. I think she might get Rally. Uh, Rally and something else. I don't think I've ever got her ability above that, though, to be fair. But yeah, might as well send Mei San Yon around, see if we can find the depot. See if we can burn that down. Then could have a shot at taking out Cow Cow's proper army, potentially. Is there a chance it's going to be over here? Seems unlikely, but we'll see. All right, let's see if um, I can get a decent fireball in. Zhang Liao's got some great abilities. I think he's got charge or rush. So every chance that he could do some serious damage to me. But a good fireball here. And we could be in business. That looks decent enough. Let's go for it. It didn't bunch up as much as I was I was hoping. But there's a good half of his unit in there. It was kind of subject to the rolls of the, the bounce of the balls a little bit. That might be 3,000 or so. Yeah, okay. Not quite as good as I was hoping for, but... But that's okay. God, go on you being such a trooper, holding on. Ah. Uh, feel like that's fair enough. No! How dare you do that? No, I know, Lube. It happens, though, right? You're going to lose some units sometimes. Lily's hardly got any morale. Well, that's great. Oh, I don't know. It might be time to call it quits, I think. Senor has got horse troops, so there's every chance we we could. And Jugalion may well get back one of his magic abilities if we hold on long enough. All ifs and buts there, but I guess I probably want to send Zhang Fei. There's no way he's getting to his daughter in time, but it's funny how like they put a whole thing together for the bridge crossing and stuff. No, it's quite neat, really. Might have to just have Zhang Fei stay at the bridge if Lili's going to collapse. 
so quickly. Which is looking like what's going to happen. Okay, so I don't see a supply depot. Up this way, anyway. Oh, wow. Lily's got Dian Wei faltering as well. That's interesting. Oh, Cow Cow's coming for, coming for us now. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know if he would be able to see where I was or not. You're not as crazy as me. Oh, Father, I'm so sorry. Oh, Zhang Fei getting pissed now. Everyone was picking on my daughters. They'll pay for that. There's every chance I could actually get to him and do a. No, I can't. I can't see. Obviously, see their units now, which is a bit of a pain. No, I don't. I don't want her to hold her position. I'm gonna get. Go over there, I think. Oh, it's Yuge Leon's getting battered. Any chance of a magic? Extra magic? No. No, I can't see it. I can't see any chance of it refreshing. That's a shame. It's just the Yeah, the difference in troop type has done us in here, I think. I would say overall a pretty successful battle in terms of experience and good use of, or decent decent enough use of abilities as well. You know, absolutely could be worse. Just yeah, so much cavalry. Which is quite fitting for a cow cow army. Has to be said. Oh, Juge Leon, come on. <laughs> yeah, once again, I'm running out of troops. That's the big the big problem here. As if we've not found the supply depot. Find that. Absolutely incredible. All right, let's change the map and let's actually have Zhang Fei hold his position by the bridge. Because whoever comes to fight him, hopefully it's Dian Wei, we can get a duel off. We may or may not win, but it would get Zhang Fei's... There we go, yeah. Okay, we're going to get that fight. That's cool. Where on earth is this supply depot, though? I mean, I've basically gone both ends of them, almost both ends of the map at this point. Unless it's, like, tucked. Very, very much tucked in somewhere. Hmm. Oh, Shuge Leon. Are invincible. There is no army that we cannot stop. Huh. So that's how defeat feels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some of the... It's just like I find all those little quips. Very funny. Well, Juge Leon's been defeated, which, yeah, not very well known for his resilience. Lots of, lots of magic, not much resilience. Uh, honestly, where on earth is this supply depot? It's not here, anywhere. It's 
usually tucked somewhere in the corner, but... All right. Never mind. It's not really going to help us too much regardless. So... Let's do a rush here. Ra oh, it's a oh, it's raid, not rush. But that's fine. Yeah, very good, Jack Bay. No fun. I thought it was rushed for some reason. Raid is okay, but not when your horse rears up right at the start of the uh, of the fight. It's not. Oh my goodness me, we found Cow Cow. Uh, I can't duel Cow Cow, so how about we try dueling Dianwei? If we lose this, we're, that's it. I'm going to have to put Liu Bei <laughs> into the exit bit. I'm almost asleep. Oh, you're about to lose. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Oh. Very good, Jiang Fei. Two for two in this in this stage. Can't win them all, obviously, but I think on normal difficulty you win your lion's share. Now he has tasted the might and power of Jean Fay. Which will lead to his unit's total collapse. Enemy defeated. Alright. Wow. Literally have no troops whatsoever. That's quite funny, actually. Lots of morale, though. So, you know, take it for what it is. We've got Mace Adyon just running up and down in the back, trying to find the supply depot unsuccessfully. Ooh, and Jun Yu as well. Are we going to get a pincer? I think we might do. I think we might have been pincered there. No. Usually you can see the supply depot. Like in the through the mist. But Apparently not. We will take you down. Oh yeah, I've literally been pincered. All right, that's fine. We'll just use Lulu's ability, and then that's it. We'll. Oh, we can't use Lulu's ability. Okay. Well, it's in that case. <laughs> before Zhang Fei gets completely annihilated, we'll send Liu Bei out. Yeah, not sure how I missed the depot and the supply depot here. Doesn't change anything for us now. Uh, I think Jugalion would still have lost, potentially. We've eluded the enemy. We should be safe now. Yeah. That battle was a bit longer than normal, mainly because of my interference, but the battles do get bigger and more grand as you go through. Don't think we're so, done yet. Just how it is. I will get Yao Chan back. I'm surprised we got that many troops left. Goodness. Oh, I suppose Liu Bei's unit. Brother, we're lucky we survived that. I know. Now we go to Xiaoko and plan our attack. Huh? What was that? Wu with their pretty big army, actually, to be fair. With the victory we have claimed in this battle, our army has finally gained the upper hand. It's just not true, though, Zugo Leon. It's just not true. What have we gained? Gained three? 
That's good. Lord Liu Bei, I am joined by my brother-in-law. Oh, Bantong! And by Huang Zhang, who is master of the bow of giant strength. I'm Pang Tong, and I am the cleverest fighter this side of heaven. Please call me Huang Zhang. And do take pleasure in my service. have the mandate of heaven. I'll prove it to you. You mustn't continue to fight, Liu Bei. There are boats filling the Chengdung River. Cao Cao is putting everything he has into this battle. He's going to destroy you all. You just have to get out of here. Diao Chan, are you on a boat too? Answer me, Diao Chan. Mm. Destroy us all. I mean, unfortunately, there's no real, there's nowhere else really for Liu Bei to go at this point. So there you have it. Hopefully, I mean, that was a lot longer than normal, but hopefully that was at least enjoyable. And unfortunately, I couldn't find that supply depot, which is really annoying. And I'm sure it must be there because I'm sure I've destroyed it before. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to have a look and see, try and find the map for the battle to see if, um, to see where the supply depot is. Because it must be, must be there somewhere. I know there's no supply depot for Liu Bei, but that kind of makes sense, right? Because how would he have chance to put down his supply depot? But yes, maybe there isn't one. I don't know, for both sides. But yeah, that was pretty good, and lots of levels levels up as well. And I think, like, especially getting the charge ability for Guan Yu is going to be a real big bonus, and it helps his unit because then at some point, Guan Ping and Xiao Kang are going to get some abilities as well. And you kind of need you kind of need those supplementary abilities from your then what you call them like sub officers, I suppose, or officers, right, rather than commanders, or however you want to put it, because they do. That genuinely really help out with some of the battles and sometimes you can get a really good charge off or a really good rush off with them and a lot of them do learn iron wall as well so you can make sure that you're pairing pairing up your units that have iron wall with their spellcasters and that kind of thing so yeah i think that's probably about where we are with that anyway thank you for watching i will see you all in the next one which is the battle of shibi or Red Cliff, or there's another name for it as well. But yes, boat battle, and one of the more experimental stages, I would say. Okay, bye for now.